Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to our Barn Dominium build. This is Cindy Lynn with Bridgeview Adventures. And in today's video, we are going to talk all about our paint job for our pole barn with living quarters. So we did know from the very, very beginning, probably before we even had the shell of the pole barn started, that we would be contracting out the paintwork. Mainly because the walls and the ceilings are so high. We have the 16 foot walls and then the, the huge ceiling that goes up and it was just logistically too much for Tony and I to try to tackle. And besides that, uh, painting is one of the worst jobs in the world. So if anyone else hates painting, leave me a comment and let me know you'd rather pay a million dollars than uh, do a paint job, <laughs> which is pretty much how I feel. So what we did was uh, we, we got some contracting quotes uh, for the paint job. And that's one of the hardest things to do yourself is to contract out the, the work just because you never know when the contractors are going to show up how long it's going to take them to give you a bid, how long it's going to take them to complete the job, if they're even going to finish the job. So that is just some worries that go along with it. That's just part of it. Now we've been dealing with this for quite a while now, so we're, we're kind of used to it. But we luckily we did find um, a, a great painting contractor who, who was pretty much on the ball, uh, gave us a pretty good quote. They contracted for two coats of sealing uh, flat paint finish and then one coat of primer that's flat and two coats of uh, eggshell finish on the walls. And then the trim coat with one primer and one uh, semi-gloss finish. And they quoted us for 1,600 square foot. And the total price, including the labor and materials, is $4,363.25. Um, so they did say they were going to charge me just a little bit extra because they didn't know that I needed the floor covered. And at the time, we wasn't sure if we were just going to put a clear coat over the concrete floors or what we're going to be doing with those. So we wanted to kind of preserve those. He did say it would be a minimum charge. He didn't actually give me a price. He's, he said it wouldn't be very much. So I trusted him. I'm like, just tack it on uh, to the final price. So we just left it at that. So where we're at right now is actually just all of the primer coats are on, the primary coat on the ceiling and the walls and we haven't done any of the trim yet uh, we have to put those up and then they're going to come back and finish all that out so what you're looking at uh, is just the the primary coats on this so what we did for uh, the initial decision on the paint colors is that uh, we we found out we asked the contractor where they were going to be uh, getting the paint from which company they were using. So they used Sherwin-Williams and we just went to Sherwin-Williams and picked out a bunch of paint samples and paint palettes and brought them back home and lined them up against the wall. And then we excluded some that we definitely knew <laughs> that wasn't going to work and narrowed it down to about three then I did a lot of research online. I would look up those paint colors on actual rooms, different photos, so I could see if, if it actually looked different with different types of lighting and that sort of thing. Um, so once we narrowed it down to about three colors, we actually taped those to the wall for a couple of days so we could see, you know, coming and going while we were doing other work and just glance over and kind of see what we would think the color would look like. Oh, and we did uh, narrow it down to two colors. So what we decided for the main... Uh, uh, living quarters we went with a very light misty gray uh, it's really not even hardly noticeable gray unless you compare it to the white ceiling area and then you can you can kind of see that it is a light gray color so that is called on the rocks and then in the laundry room the downstairs bathroom and the spare bedroom downstairs we did a darker gray and I, <laughs> I hope YouTube's not listening to this color. You guys will get a kick out of this. It's called Pussy Willow. And I hate even saying that with, you know, <laughs> without trying to giggle. But yeah, that's, that's the color. So I don't know who came up with that name, but it is what it is. We just have to uh, finish up the trim. It's already been started. We were waiting on a door to come in uh, from Canada. 
and then the rest of the trim needs to be completed mainly the baseboards because we were waiting for the floor to get done so once we get the baseboards up then we're going to call the painters back um, to get that completed so we really appreciate you guys stopping by to the channel see our progress with the pole barn and we'll see you around Okay, the painters just left an hour ago. We got a really light, creamy gray on the wall. I think it's called On the Rocks. So there, you can see the difference in color. Oh, the ceiling looks good too. Nice. Thank you.